Hey guys, this is Tony from Good Japan, Bad Japan. I just got my laser surgery done on my left eye. I was here a month ago for my right eye. Everything went great, but I'm stuck here for three days. This video, I'm doing this because I have some very important information to share regarding how to save hundreds of dollars on these types of procedures here in Japan. But before I get into that, since this is a teaching in Japan related episode, because if you're here as a teacher, this could happen to you, I've got to give you an item of the day. Aerial chips. So my wife was kind enough to bring these to me to satisfy me when hospital food just isn't cutting it. These have a nice crunch to them. I will enjoy eating these later tonight. Okay, so what I want to share with you is how to save big money on surgical procedures in Japan. Now, I'm only talking about my eyes. I'm only talking about laser surgery, but this could apply to a number of procedures, and I highly recommend that you ask about this prior to getting any big procedures at a hospital here in Japan if you need them. So the buzzword here is called gendogaku. Gendogaku. And so you I've subtitled it below. So this is a this is a limit, a fixed money amount that caps off. So uh, regardless of how expensive a procedure usually is, depending on your salary bracket, it caps off. And this can save you a lot of money. My first my first eye surgery, the laser surgery, my, and my three days here following that, 108,000 yen. That's a lot of money. That's, that's almost a thousand bucks. And uh, now this time around, we paid about 55,000 yen. So about, almost about half of what we paid the first time. So this gendogaku, there's a special form and you can get it online. And what it is, is that you, um, if you fill it out and get it to the hospital before your surgery, they will reduce the amount before you pay. So this second surgery that I had, we, we were prepared, we, we gave them that form, and it was only 55,000 yen. The first time, we had the surgery first, and that's why we paid 108,000. And we sent the form in the mail, and it's gonna take about three months for us to get that return, but we're probably gonna get half our money back because of that gendogaku, that fixed limit. So that's, that's very, I really hope that if you need big surgery that you look that up so that you can save yourself a lot of money. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna show you a table that shows uh, where the cap is depending on your salary bracket, but I just paid the 55000 for this time around, and the clerk had some very helpful information for my wife and I. He said, for both eyes, the thing is, is this gendogaku is monthly. My first surgery was in July, the very end of July, and this surgery is at the end of August, two separate months. So Gendogaku for July, 55,000 yen. Gendogaku for August, 55,000 yen. He said, if you had gotten both eyes done in the same month, you would have only paid 55,000 yen one time. We would have saved hundreds more if we had known this information beforehand and scheduled these surgeries accordingly. But we had no way of knowing. Uh, we're already saving money, but we, you know, as it stands, we probably are paying about $1,000 for both eyes. We could have gotten away with $500 if we had scheduled both surgeries within the same month. So remember, if you're going to use Gendogaku and you need multiple things done, get them done in the same month. Don't schedule one for the end of one month and then the next part early the following month because you're gonna be paying a lot more money. 
Okay, so here's the form. Well, not the form, but this is the table that I was sent in the mail with the form that we had requested. Gendo Gaku. Gendo Gaku. So learn these kanji. They're very important. Here's the table. And this is all depending on your salary, how much your cap is. I was identified as this. It says 260000 less than. So I'm guessing that's monthly salary less than. And that's my cap. The absolute maximum that I would pay in a single month is 57,600 yen. And I didn't even pay this much. With Gendo Gaku, I paid only about uh, 53,000, to be honest, this time around. One final thing I want to mention as a kind of disclaimer is that I have Shakai Hoken insurance. Shakai Hoken is usually uh, for those who are working more than 30 hours, maybe, maybe more a week. Uh, if you work for certain ALT companies and they keep you at 29.5 hours or less a week, then you are likely not Shakai Hoken and you're going to be paying more for your health insurance. I don't know if that has any bearing on the, if there's a price difference, if you're going through the same thing I'm going through. I'm just telling you that if you have Shakai Hoken health insurance, you can use this Gendogaku and you will save thousands and thousands of yen on these types of health procedures. So I hope this was informative. So the key things to take away from today's video, Gendogaku, before you go to the hospital for something major, find that form. If, if you don't know Japanese, find a Japanese friend, find talk to your company have them help you out, have them help you fill out that form. It will save you a lot of money. The second thing is, if you need multiple procedures and you're gonna use Gendo Gaku for them, schedule them all the same month. So, I hope you can learn from, from I would say, my mistake. We, we, we say we're gonna be saving about $1,000 all told, but we could have been saving 1,500, so it's, it's not a total loss could have been better, but maybe someone will watch this and learn from my experience, hopefully, and save even more money should they find themselves in the hospital, which I hope never happens to anybody. So thank you very much for watching today's video, and uh, I'm going to go back to playing Skyrim on my PS4. I, I learned my lesson from the last time, so I'm going to be burning through the time I've got left here. I hope you hit that like button. I hope you subscribe, ring that bell, and I hope you leave comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.